And there are a lot of steps built into this bill. First, two doctors need to confirm a terminal diagnosis. Then a patient would have to ask for the life ending drug several times. This would all take weeks, so it's not something that can happen overnight. But those against the measure still have a lot of questions. A good day, my pain level is an eight. Even at an eight, Marine veteran William Frankel says assisted suicide is not an option. I have heart trouble, asthma, severe chronic pain. Frankel, with his service dog by his side, pointed out several flaws that he saw in the death with dignity bill. He worries insurance companies will use the measure as a way to deny costly care. It will be cheaper to let someone pass away than it will be to treat them. Under the bill, if someone were to use the life ending drug, their terminal illness would be listed as the cause of death. It would be a form of fraud if someone who you, the doctor assisted suicide, if that is not listed in the death certificate at some point. While Frankel joined several others speaking against the bill, Fred Voltz stood alone on the other side. Sometimes in life you have to be a majority of one. Voltz, a commercial real estate manager by day, spent his night here. I, I would not want to put either my family or myself through hopeless medical care. He's already had loved ones go through this. They had really lost all hope that uh, the traditional medical profession could help them. And as a result, uh, there really wasn't much for them to do except to endure. And so their lives were very truncated and they knew that the end was coming. It, it gave me a tremendous amount of resolve to want to do the same thing. In other words, want to have the choice because it's my body, it's my life. Voltz has read the bill closely and he believes there are enough protections to avoid many of the worries from the other side. I'm very uh, troubled by some of the people who feel that their judgment should supersede the individual's choice about what's going to happen to their body. And the Clark County Coroner's Office also testified they're asking for an amendment on how a cause of death is decided. They don't want to be responsible for certifying that because it may conflict with other laws. If the committee approves the bill, it'll go to the Senate floor for a full vote.